once again, and today I am going to be reviewing Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I have changed my opinion on this game so many times in the making of this review. So please know that this was a really tough review to make, but I have come to a final verdict. We'll get to that after we get through the pros and cons of our subject today. I definitely can say this is a very captivating game. When I started playing it, I just kept on playing it. It really has a hold on you due to its formula. You're always trying to unlock something, whether it be the Templar armor, the pistol swords, a fully upgraded ship. You're always after something. However, the activities that you're partaking in often feel very uninspired. You can clearly tell there's a lot of copy-paste work, and the copy-paste stuff really isn't that good for copy-pasting. There are many games that are very copy-pasted that work quite well, but not Assassin's Creed. I'd say this game is certainly a fun diversion, but it doesn't feel particularly artistic to me. This is something very hard to explain, and you probably only understand if you played the game for yourself. Although the gameplay part of the main story missions aren't that great, given they entail a lot of trailing missions, I would have to say that the story is pretty nice. You're Edward Kenway, who is a pirate seeking his fortune. You don't really give a crap about higher ideals, for most of the story at least. And you just happen to end up encountering the assassins and Templars through a series of random events. Edward definitely fits the role of a likable pirate protagonist. He's got a nice accent, and he does interesting pirate stuff. One of the gripping parts of the story definitely has to be the whole mystery of the observatory, which is supposed to be some sort of spying device thing, and it sounds all mystical and really mysterious. And a good mystery really helps hold a plot together. The one problem with the story would have to be the modern day missions and the fact this is a whole simulation or some crap. That kind of is a bit annoying. But at the same time, I kind of see how it's sort of necessary, but it's not really that necessary, is it? When you go through something like Metal Gear Solid or Dishonored, and you go and try playing Assassin's Creed stealthily, you kind of end up feeling disappointed. This is definitely... This is not gonna really make you happy if you're into stealth. Going through bushes is kind of cheap feeling. It's not... It feels clunky. Yeah, especially if you're on a roof and there's guards on the roof. It's just annoying. You're, you're often thinking, why the heck can't I go prone? Why can't I hide behind this corner? Why can't I duck behind this corner? It's just not that great in this department. And when I see something like optional mission objective, be undetected, I feel very tempted to do that given my love of stealth games. And I just end up coming away disappointed. My combat system itself is kind of enjoyable, but the whole countering feels cool when you take out like 10 guards in a fight, but yeah, don't expect anything cool from the stealth department. It's an open world with a large portion of unexplorable territory on the map. Really that open? That would seem to be the case of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. All the locations of the game are sort of these small places just cut out and they decide to put something there. For example, if I go over to Havana, which is the capital of Cuba by the way, and I decide to go past the city and go inland, can I go and just walk all the way across Cuba? No, I can't. You can probably only go to one-tenth 
of the space of Cuba. Maybe even less. If you see an island and you can dock on that island, chances are you're only going to be able to go around half of that island. In fact, you will see many places from your ship that you can't even go onto. It really messes up the whole idea of exploration that they were going for. Assassin's Creed 4, from an artistic standpoint, isn't really all that artistic. However, from the standpoint of just wanting some dumb fun, you'll have some fun. The game is addicting, but it's not addicting and at the same time filled with substance. It's not a world of wonderment, really, compared to something like Skyrim. However, if you're just looking for something to pass the time easily and have a bit of fun, Assassin's Creed 4 is your game. I am going to give this a 4 out of 5. It ain't too bad. On the top games list, I am going to put it at number 5. Next week, I will be reviewing Dark Souls. Will I be able to actually beat it? Yes, because I already beat it like four times. But anyway, find out next week on the Crusade for the Best Video Game Ever Made.